we're out for our first winter camping trip of 2024. Just a quick overnight trip here. So the idea for this trip is just to get out for the night, get all the winter gear out, test everything out, make sure all my winter gear is in order. So I got my canvas tent and my wood stove and all the gear that goes along with it. Yeah, we're just gonna hike in the trail here, find a spot to set up a camp. There's a little pond, uh, just a little further in the trail. So I'm gonna try and make it in there and uh, check the ice conditions and just scoot around, try to find a nice little spot to set up, uh, set up the canvas tent for the night. So that's the idea. I may, uh, I may put in some rabbit snares as well on this trip. So we'll see how much time we have. So yeah, I'm gonna continue on in the trail and uh, look for a spot to set up. So I chopped down about six inches. I uh, didn't break through yet, so it should be good. So I just checked this one spot. Uh, it's about 10 feet offshore to start with, because I know it's really shallow here. So now I'm gonna go out a little further and uh, chop another hole just to double check, just to be safe. And uh, yeah, but I think we should be good. So as long as we get uh, four to six inches a little further offshore, uh, we'll carry on. So that was the same thing uh, and that hole is about six inches and I never did get right through to the water So I'm satisfied with that. I chopped that hole about 50 feet offshore So I'm gonna stay as close to shore as possible I'm gonna play it safe here because like I said, we haven't had a ton of cold weather So I still don't really trust it. I'm gonna avoid the, uh, the middle of the pond I'm not gonna cross the pond at all. I'm just gonna trim the shore here and uh, play it safe. Can't stress that enough guys. This is the time of year when uh, you always hear the story about someone going through the ice and drowning. So uh, don't take my word for it. Every pond is different. Every body of water is different. You should always check the ice. Oh, it's getting pretty blustery out here now. Snowing pretty good. Wind is picking up, so this little cove I'm in looks like a nice shelter spot. So I'm gonna try and make my way up through the woods here and uh, see if I can find a campsite. Over here. Come here, bud. Come here. All right guys, a little update. So I got the tent all set up, as you can see. Got some of my gear unpacked, the wood stove is all set up. Got some spruce boughs put down here uh, where the dogs are gonna sleep. Still gotta put out my air mattress and uh, 
on my cot there and I got an air mattress for the dogs as well. Yeah, we're looking good here. Got a little bipod made to support the weight of the stove pipe. So that's all set up, should be good. So the pond is down this way, you can see it out through here. So it's about 50 yards away or so I guess. So it would've been nice to uh, set up right down by the shoreline of the pond, but we're supposed to get 50 kilometer wind gusts and uh, that's what we have been getting since I've been here actually. Uh, northwest wind and it's just ripping right down the pond. We're on the south side of the pond, so we would've been just getting blasted by wind if I set up, set up down, by the, uh, down by the shore. So I decided to come up here in this nice little sheltered spot. And uh, I got a bit of a hill here on this side. There's a bit of a hill up here. And uh, it's pretty, uh, it's providing quite a bit of shelter for the tent. So it should be a good spot. So the two, uh, two big chores I got left to do are firewood. And then I just gotta go cut a hole in the ice to get, so I can get my water. Yeah, uh, that's another reason why I chose this spot. There's a ton of dead spruce here. So, there's a couple right by the tent here. Here's one right here. But yeah, there's tons down through here. So, I won't have to go far at all to get firewood. Plenty here to do me tonight. So, that's going to be the next chore firewood. And uh, actually, I think I'm going to go down on the pond first and uh, cut a hole in the ice. We'll see how much ice is actually out there. Dogs are having a time chasing sticks. Goose, where's your stick? Get that stick. Go get that stick. <laughs> Goose takes his stick, stick fetching game pretty seriously. Goose, go get that stick. Go get that stick. All right, let's go get some water. Okay, so we got through, so not a ton of ice. I mean, it's safe enough. There's probably six, looks like a, at least six inches, maybe eight, between six and eight inches, I'd say, of solid ice. So, I mean, they say four inches is recommended for, you know, a minimum of four inches is recommended for walking on. So, I mean, I think we're safe enough, but like I said earlier, we're not gonna take any chances. I'm gonna just stick stick to the shoreline here I'm probably 20 feet offshore right now and I won't be going any farther out so we'll play it safe if we go for a little jaunt later on I'll, uh, I'll just trim trim around the shoreline Dry spruce here, boy. What do you want? You're a nuisance. 
You're a nuisance. You're right in the way all the time. You're right in the way all the time. No, Millie, stop stealing the firewood. Here, go. Go get it. So finally we're uh, pretty well set up here. So I got my wood all cut. Uh, I should have enough for tonight and tomorrow morning I think. I can always grab some more. There's a bunch of dry sticks just outside the tent that I can get later if I need to. So yeah, we're, uh, we're in good shape I think. Um, what time is it? Millie is here having a snooze on my cot. Now Millie, you can't sleep there, you know that, right? You gotta sleep over there. <laughs> Pretty much every time I've had Millie out with me in this tent, she always manages to uh, sneak her way up on the cot in the nighttime. But anyways, it's all good. So it's 3.30. So I think what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna throw a little bit of gear in my sleigh and uh, go out on the pond. Just kind of trim around the shore of the pond and uh, see if I can find a spot to set a few rabbit snares. So we had a, a couple centimeters of snow here throughout the day. It's kind of been uh, snowing off and on. So probably uh, not going to be able to see uh, many rabbit tracks because they're all snowed in now. But anyways, if nothing else, we'll go for a little walk and uh, do a bit of exploring for an hour or so. Try to set a few snares. And uh, then we'll make our way back here before dark. Get the fire going and uh, settle in for the evening. Get some food cooked up. Millie, you don't look like he wants to go anywhere now. You're pretty comfortable right where you are, aren't you? <laughs> All right, so I decided not to take the sleigh, so I uh, just got my axe and got a roll of rabbit wire in my pocket, so that's all we need. I got my GoPro, so yeah, let's go see what we can see. It's gonna be pretty blustery out on the pond. So there's a spot way down here in the, the lower end of the pond. It looks like there's an alder bed there, and uh, looks like a, like an open kind of an open spot where I can get in through fairly easily. So I'm gonna head over there, I think, and uh, just take a walk up through the woods, see if we can see any fresh rabbits on. If not, uh, maybe tomorrow morning, if the rabbits run tonight, there'll be some fresh tracks so we can set some snares tomorrow. But let's see how it goes. We get a walk in, get the dogs, uh, give the dogs a good run, even though they're probably pretty tired now as it is. Okay, so just like I expected, that little bit of snow we had now today was just enough to uh, cover up all the tracks. So it'll be hard to uh, figure out where to set a snare, but have a little look around here. Check this out. <laughs> the remains of a birch tree. Is, uh, all that's left here is the bark. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some of this. Some of this birch bark off this live tree here. Some of the dead bark, actually. Top's gone off this tree too. So, I'll grab some of this to help light the stove when we get back. Well, there's a fresh rabbit button on top of the snow. I guess that was there from last night, maybe. Uh, all right, let's set one right here. Looks like as good a spot as any.
I'll knock the camera over. All right, so I set one right here. And I set one just across the trail. Not really a trail, but it's kind of an alder bed slash uh, little stream that comes up through here, leads out to the pond. So yeah, I got one there by Millie. I'm hoping she don't mess it up on me. Get over here, you. And then one right here. I'm just gonna walk my way back out towards the pond now, see if I can't find a spot to set a couple more. All right, so that's snare number four. So I think uh, I'm gonna call it good for today. Like I said, you can't see any fresh tracks, so it's tough, tough to know where to set them out to now. So, but that'll give me a, a reason to come back here tomorrow morning, walk down here and check them. And hopefully the rabbits will run tonight and there'll be some fresh tracks tomorrow. And I may even set some more if we see any good sign. All right, Millie, you get out of there now before you mess up my snare. Here, come here. All right, let's go. Let's start to make our way back to the tent. All right, almost back to camp. It's starting to get dark out now. I'm gonna get that stove lit, get it a little warm up. not sure if the GoPro was picking this up or not because it's pretty dark in here so I got to switch back over to my other camera here in a sec but hopefully you can see almost too cold for the big lighter to light here got to warm it up in my hand for a minute so I got the stove all ready to go just got to light her up It's your favorite time of day. It's kibble time. You've been waiting all day for it, haven't you? the tent here so it's still pretty early it's only around six o'clock i think but it's dark outside so got the dogs in they're lying down goose was lying down until i started talking to the camera Millie's asleep just over right here yeah i'm just having a coffee now warming up a little bit man the stove is throwing off a ton of heat and it's really hot in here now so i'm gonna have to open up the door a little bit probably let some uh, heat out I would say it's 25 degrees or more right now in here. <clears throat> but yeah, just gonna enjoy coffee and uh, gonna get some food cooking here soon. So we got some homemade fish cakes that my wife made over the weekend. So I'm gonna fry a, a few of those up in the frying pan here shortly. And then I got this little guy right here. So 
little treat here. Uh, first time I've ever had this in the canvas tent. So, in this tin foil is a seal flipper. So, <laughs> let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever tried seal meat, uh, if you like it or not. So, this is just a small seal flipper that I had left over from supper last night. So, I just got that warming up on the on top of the stove and some tin foil there. So I'm gonna snack on that here in a bit, fry up some fish cakes, have some, uh, have a good feed, and uh, yeah, we'll probably go out for a little stroll around here uh, a little bit later, take the dogs out for a little walk and uh, let them do their business and stuff before we settle in for the evening. Yeah, it's nice to be back out in the canvas tent. So it's been almost a year now since I've been out, I guess, last March or something, I guess was the last trip I was out in the tent. So it's nice. Nice and cozy. Hey Goose, good boy. While we're waiting for these fish cakes to cook, I'm gonna try some of this seal. So yeah guys, let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever tried seal meat. Well, like I said, this is a seal flipper, just a small one. This is good stuff. That'll fall right off the bone, it's so tender. One of my favorite meats, one of my favorite wild game meats to eat is seal flipper. Really good stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how that just falls right off the bone. Millie is staring at me here now. You want some piece of this, I suppose. Take it nice. Good girl. Well, me and Millie made quick work of a seal flipper, so just a few bones left. And fish cakes are done, so it's stuck to the pan a little bit. <clears throat> so this is not my good pan. This is just my little lightweight one. I didn't take my uh, my good one on this trip because I was trying to save on weight a little bit. But still good. As long as they're warm through, that's all that matters. Oh yeah, gonna be good. Thanks to my wife for making these. She made a big old batch of them on the weekend. This is my second meal of them. Okay, let's eat these fish cakes. Millie, you're not getting any of these. You just had a bunch of seal flipper. And you already had your supper. Oh, they're hot. So, seafood supper here tonight. Oh man, hard to beat these. Codfish cakes, homemade, gotta love it. Got the wood stove rocking. Might have to cut another dry stick or two here after supper. Just to make sure we got enough to get through the night. I think we're good though all the same. I always end up cutting too much firewood. I always end up with a bunch left over the next day. Anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of these. I'm gonna check back here in a bit. All right guys, so we're all settled in for the evening here. So after supper, uh, I went out, caught a couple more dry sticks and uh, we should have plenty of wood for tonight now. Yeah, I just had a little walk around the, the pond there with the dogs. And now we're just going to enjoy the evening, enjoy the heat from the wood stove, relax a little bit, and uh, hopefully get a good night's sleep. So tomorrow, uh, I'm going to go check those four rabbit snares tomorrow morning. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll set out a few more snares as well. See how it goes. And I'm actually thinking about maybe 
leaving the tent and uh, the wood stove set up when I leave tomorrow and uh, coming back here in a couple days and spending another night out here so anyways we'll see how it all goes tomorrow see what the weather's like and stuff and uh, decide from there but for now I'm gonna sign off and we'll check in in the morning good boy goose good boy Morning folks, so just get some coffee on the go here, I think it's uh, around 7 a.m. So still pretty dark out, just kind of, just starting to brighten up a little bit out there. Dogs are up on the go. So I had a good night, uh, the stove kind of tipped on me a bit overnight, the, uh, the snow melted underneath one of the legs and it kind of went on a bit of an angle, I didn't even notice it until I woke up, so I, uh, I forgot a step when I was setting up the stove yesterday, I usually run two long sticks underneath the legs of the stove and that, uh, that gives the stove a little more stability in case the snow melts like it did last night. Anyway, it's all good, the stove pipe didn't, uh, didn't move or anything, so no big deal really. But yeah, you almost need to be out here for a couple of nights with this uh, canvas tent thing to, uh, to work all the little kinks out and, and get uh, get camp set up good. But unfortunately, we got to head back out this afternoon. I got an appointment in town this afternoon. I got to get back for so I'm gonna be heading back out a little later. But uh, I think I am gonna leave the. Uh, the tent and the stove set up here and I'm gonna come back in a couple of days and uh, check my rabbit snares and spend another night out here so I'm in a pretty quiet spot here I think the tent will be fine if I leave it up I don't think anyone's going to bother with it so yeah I'll leave the stove and the tent set up and I'll cut all my firewood and everything I'll probably leave my cot here but I'll take all the rest of my gear my sleeping gear and stuff now yeah, Millie you're getting in the way so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave the tent and all that stuff set up. Then uh, when I come back, I'll have all my firewood cut, like I said. I'll just have to uh, show up at camp and everything will be all done, ready to go. So that's the plan. Yeah, just going to enjoy some coffee now. And uh, we'll head out on, across the pond, or around the pond, I should say. And uh, check those few rabbit snares I put out, scout out a little bit, see if I can find any, uh, any new sign, set out some new snares maybe. And, uh, yeah, like I said, later this afternoon, then I got to hike out of here and uh, call it a trip for now. What's going on, Millie? Huh? You managed to sneak your way up onto the cot in the night, didn't you? <laughs> so Goose started out up on the cot with me. As soon as I went to bed, he got right up next to me. And then at sometime in the middle of the night, he got down and got over on the spruce boughs next to the side of the stove here and uh, as soon as he got down Millie took his spot so she got up on the cot and snuggled in next to me so it was a little bit tight quarters on the little cot here but I still slept pretty good off we go so we're gonna go check my four rabbit snares and I brought my sled so I'm also going to try to cut a few dry sticks to haul back to the tent, so we'll be all ready for next time. Beautiful morning. It's a crisp one, but it's a nice one. Wind is still pretty gusty, pretty cold wind chill, but beautiful morning to be out.
some dry juniper, some small dry juniper sticks on this little bag here. So I'm gonna stop there on the way back and uh, fill up my sled. That'll be good firewood for, uh, for the next trip. All right, so I'm not expecting anything in these snares. Cause like I said, I just kind of randomly stuck them out there yesterday. Didn't see any tracks or anything. There's the first one, nothing in that. I remember where I put them all now. Three more in here somewhere. Nope, no luck. Haven't even seen any fresh tracks yet. Well, we do have some fresh tracks from last night right here. There was a rabbit here last night. Now here's my fourth snare, there's nothing in it, but the rabbit was close to it. So we came through here. Here's my snare. But he must have went around it or went a different way. Yeah, looks like he went up through that way. Huh, maybe I'll uh, look for a spot to set another couple here now that I know there's a rabbit around. So I think I'm just gonna walk the perimeter of the pond. It's an absolutely beautiful morning for a walk. So I'm just gonna walk the perimeter and uh, I'm gonna go in some little places and see if you see any fresh rabbit sign from last night. Maybe I'll set up a couple more little spots here before we head back and uh, get ready to pack up. So here's a fresh rabbit run from last night. So I'm gonna set this one up here now. I'm just gonna stick close to the shore of the pond. That way I can check them easily next time we're out. All right, there we go. So got that one set up. So I'm just gonna continue around the shore and keep doing this. Maybe put out half a dozen or so more snares. We'll see how it goes. So probably not going to film a whole lot more of this because it's just the same thing over and over. But we'll check back here in a bit. Well, it looks like we had a visitor last night. So fresh coyote tracks on the ice here. Looks like he came down from up there. Straight across from our camp. Camp is just right over here. So no surprise though. There's plenty of coyotes. I actually saw one yesterday on the main road on the highway when I was driving out here. There's one running right up the road in front of me, so lots of them around. All right, so we've just been trimming around the edge of the pond, and uh, we're at a little brook here. So there's a brook that runs in right here, and there's open water right there, and I'd have to cross over to get to go any further. So not going to take a chance on that today. Not worth it. So even right here, Millie's uh, breaking through. Now we're right on the shoreline here, so it's not a big deal, but. Yeah, I'm not gonna cross that brook today. I'm gonna head back, cut some wood, and uh, head back to the tent. All right, guys, so almost back to the tent now. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here, I think. I uh, just stopped and cut a bit of half a sleigh load of dry juniper, and I uh, set in a few more snares along the way there. So yeah, it's gonna do it for this one. Uh, like I said, I'll be back out uh, again here in the next couple of days. There'll be another video coming soon. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, all that stuff helps out. Yeah, thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.